Hello friends, it's Cindy Brumbaugh from CindyLeeBeeDesigns.com, independent stamping up demonstrator. Today is a fun beachy kind of card. I will ask you to forgive my voice. I have a bit of a cold right now, so let's hope we can get through this video. But this is a beautiful bundle that is bundled in the mini January through June right now, but it will be losing its bundled status in the annual catalog, as you can see. So if you order it now, it is bundled at a 10% discount. It's the Paradise Palms with the Palms dies. Now, I just love this one. We've always got a stamp set with palm trees in it. I just really, really like this one. And I had a couple tricks when I made this card, so I thought it was worth a little show to you. So here we go, Paradise Palms. And I'm gonna show you a couple fun things I did on this card. So I used my um, tailor-made tags to put my tag on here, so I don't forget that. Now, when I did this one, I saw in the catalog a fun card with the sun doing a negative masking. So what, no, actually the opposite of a negative. Usually we use the negative. So I'm gonna show you um, something we're going to do on this. I'm gonna bring out a piece of scratch paper where, okay, here we go, because we're gonna start, we're gonna make this a card similar to this, um, but we are going to be popping off our palm fronds at the top. So just bring out yourself a piece of um, scratch paper because we might get some coming off of here. Now, when I made this card, I wanted it uh, a little more to show on these sides because I used this really cool die that's in the palms dies. And so I made this, instead of making it three and a half by five, I brought it even another eighth of an inch and I made it three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. So three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. All these measurements are under the YouTube description and also on my blog, cindyleebdesigns.com. If you look in the description under the YouTube video, visit my blog here, press that link, takes you right over to Cindy Lee B Designs. So what we're gonna do here on this card, we're gonna use a new product that is in the annual catalog, the Stamping Up Masking Paper. Now, the thing I love about this is yes, we can mask with, pieces of computer paper. I use sticky post-it notes and I'd use the sticky part. But what I love about this is it's all sticky and it's reusable. So what I did here, you can see this masking um, paper has where you can pull it apart here for easy pulling. But I was able to go ahead and put all of my dies, the two palm fronds and the uh, trunks of those and the sun and I put them on the side that you don't peel off okay so this is the this is the side with the release paper here so make sure that that's on the back so you're putting it on the front so that when you use this the sticky part goes down okay just as if you were stamping your images okay so what I did is I die cut all of those and then on this first card we're going to do I'm just going to show you here that the release paper comes off and I'm taking this little sun die and I'm just putting it up at the top of my card here. And I'm gonna be sponging around that. But before we get there, let's just go ahead and put our sand on. And I used crumb cake and I used the die, I mean the stamp that is in the stamp set. And I do like to stamp more, um, like if I'm doing this, I will stamp into, into my stamp if I have a bigger stamp here. And then I'm always keeping an eye out for edges so I don't get a halo or a shadow around it. But um, I do find that whenever I just don't push down really deep and then you're not up, down, up, down. You can also get more control by just lightly tapping your stamp this way. And you can see I'm not getting any edges on there. Now this is a distinctive stamp, so it has a bit of um, a design in it. So we're just going to go across and create some sand here. As you can see, I'm just doing some light taps here. I'm gonna get some sand across here. And I like that the very vanilla, it kind of goes well with these colors that I've chosen. And I'm just gonna put a little, maybe two layers of sand, and then I'm gonna use a dye to just add some color with some tufts of grass. So while we're at it, why don't we go ahead and do the second card as well? Because we're gonna do a different type of masking on there, but we might as well, since we have our crumb cake out, and again, 
you can either do light taps this way. I just always say um, that pay attention what you're doing when you're stamping. Now I do know at our stamping tables at classes, we are all so excited to see each other and we just start gabbing and we're not even, we're talking and you know how women are, we just start multitasking and I see people just taking that ink pad, um, the stamp and talking and looking up and not paying attention. But if you pay attention when you're stamping and you do light taps or this way, you're not going to get those edges. And if you do get the edges, you can um, pull them off. But as long as you're not doing CPR stamping, um, you'll be good. So there we go. We have our two cards with some sand there. Okay, now we're going to come back and we're going to do our sponging. No, we are not going to do our sponging yet. Let us do our stamping no, we are gonna do our sponging, okay. So I'm gonna use our great blending brushes and I'm gonna use a So Saffron instead of Daffodil or Crushed Curry. The So Saffron is just a little um, more subtle. I'm gonna pick up some ink there. And the nice thing about using blending brushes, you, um, they're very, uh, they take up a lot of ink, but they don't make um, a drastic, um, like, like sponges do. So whenever you go, you can start a little off if you want, but I find if I start right where my masking is, these ones are so delicate. You can see I'm starting to get a halo of a yellow hue right around my sun. And you'll see when I take that off, it looks like I'm doing nothing right now. I'm just grabbing another bit of ink and like I said, you could use daffodil or curry. You could use pumpkin. You could use all kinds of different colors. I'm just getting a little bit and just a little more here. Pulling that off and then I'm gonna do. Now, if I was using a sponge, I tend to get a little heavy handed and the sponge isn't as delicate as this blending brush. This is just beautiful. Okay, so now that we have that there, we're just going to pull off that mask here. And these masks are really stick nicely, but they come off nicely too. But sometimes I do have to use my um, paper piercer. Now look, it almost looks like this was white paper when you compare. Now look at that, this is vanilla, this is vanilla, but it almost looks white. So it gives like a neat color. And you can save this little mask and use it again. So there we go, we have, I got a little ink there just from my hand. So there we go, we have the sun there, and now we're just going to pop on our trees. Now there's two trunks that are in the stamp set, the Paradise Palms. And what I did is I took the straighter one, the straighter one, and you wanna be careful because there is a lot of rubber around this, and I didn't want to trim it because sometimes when I trim it, I get a little heavy handed with the trim. So like I said, I'm just doing light taps, checking, and I see I'm using soft suede. Ah, we're gonna put that ink pad. Okay, so I put this one higher up than, and I made it a little bit straighter, and it's higher up than my other one. So we've got one there. And why don't we just go ahead and do the other one as well while we have it out. So we're going to light taps, no edges, do a straight, okay. And then we're going to use the other one that has a bit of a curve that curves to the right side we're going to also stamp, do some taps, and notice no edges there, because I'm going lighter on my taps. I'm gonna bring this one down a little bit. Okay, there we go. Let's pull the other guy up. Light tapping, no edges. We're gonna bring that down a little bit. And it can go right into the sun part of your sponging. Okay, so we have got our palm trunks there. Okay, so we're gonna throw on our palm fronds here. And there's two, one's a little bit bigger than the other. I'm gonna put the bigger one 
at the top here. So I'm gonna do some stamping there, inked up, no edges. So we're gonna put that one up here. And I kind of know that in this little V here is where it's at. So we're just gonna hope that I get it. Yes, nice. So let's go ahead and do this one as well. Just taking a look that V right there and stick that one on there. Okay, now here is the other one and it has kind of a V shape of where it's gonna go on this other one. And it's gonna kind of overlap the other one there. You're probably wondering, what is she gonna do with that one that's different? I'm going to show you, and just sorry about the, um, now I wanna not cover too much of the sun here, so there. That's a good, ooh, that looks pretty with that little bit going there. So we've got our palm fronds on there. Okay, now you can see this one is essentially gonna be done for us to sit aside. I could have pushed this over a little bit here. Hmm, that's okay. Oh, you know what I should do there to fill in? I should put some coconuts. Yes. I have some coconuts here. Early espresso coconuts. I'm gonna see if I can fix my little mistake there. Yes, it kind of takes away the eye from where I missed it a little bit. Let's put a few here too. Ah, I like that. Okay, that was nice to fill in where I missed a little bit there. Well, it didn't fill it in, but it took your eye away from it. And isn't that what we wanna do? A little distraction so that you don't notice that? Okay. So let's take, okay, so this one, like I said, we're gonna kind of put it together here in a second, but I want to show you another neat technique you can do with that masking uh, paper. So I stamped this already, and what I'm gonna do is I die cut, as I showed you before, I die cut these pieces out. I took the tape off of it, and then I'm going to put that mask over my stamped image, okay? Actually, this one I put up a little too high. Okay, put it down here a little bit. And remember, when you use these dies, they're going right around your stamped image. So it's going to create just a little bit of a, you just kind of cover up that. You can see a little bit through the paper it's gonna cover up those images and it's not gonna be absolutely perfect. So if you're one of those people that has to have everything perfect, ha ah, all of my girls at stamping class are laughing right now thinking, yeah, Cindy, you're one of those goofballs. Okay, so we're covering up the stamped image with our masking tape, masking paper, okay? So let me cover up this one here. So I'm covering that image and I can kind of see through if, let's see if you can see it. Can you notice that you can see through where I stamped? Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna bring back Mr. Blendy Brush and we're going to get, pick up some ink here and we're going to blend around those palm trees. Now, if I was a little braver, I would add in another color, but I'm just getting used to this as one of my first tries with this. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of a yellow hue around here. So notice I'm just going around. And there's nothing wrong with me coming a little bit down to the bottom of the branches. Cause you know, like I said, it looks subtle but it's gonna have an effect here. Okay, so here we go. Do you know what I think we should do? I think we should make even a little more up here. I think we should do a nice effect the whole way around, like the sun is the whole way around. We can bring it down to the, down to the sand. I 
this in a little bit here. Okay, so the big reveal will happen. We're gonna close this up and nice thing about these is look how the ink doesn't even, it's, it's on the paper. So I can save this for my yellows. Okay, so now we're gonna take off the masking here. Okay, so just gonna pull that masking off. Might as well just get this one. Okay, and pull this one up. And I don't wanna be real rough with this because this does have a nice adhesive. I mean, it's, it's definitely releasable, but I wanna be careful not to just rip it off. And if I'm careful with my masks, I can use them again. Okay, and this one comes up because I just had those just stuck on my table for when I did this. And look at the neat effect you have here. You have a little bit of the edge around it. And once again, isn't it amazing how, oh, I got some yellow here. Isn't it, you know what we sh I should do then? I should maybe fill, I'm gonna put another. Boy, I'm all about um, fixing little mistakes today, huh? Let's see if I can fix that mistake by putting another layer of sand there. Ink it up. and maybe fill in that yellow. Yeah, it did. That'll definitely stamp dry lighter. Um, but you have that little bit, but isn't it amazing how it almost looks white around it compared to the vanilla that's actually the card base, but that just gives a different effect to the card. So we're gonna now, do you know what? Should we put some coconuts in? I think we're gonna throw some coconuts on there too. Why not? I say little tiny taps, a little tiny stamp. Okay, we're going to put them right on there. And right on there. You'll notice on my, I don't know that I showed it that fast. I put them at the bottom here because I'm always seeing coconuts on and then I just thought that just looks like a mistake there. So let's not do that. But I am going to show you how I did the inside of that one. Um, a little trick there too. Okay. So we're setting setting these aside and we're going to go ahead and pop in and look at the inside. I already stamped the sentiment on the inside of both of these cards, but I want to show you just a quick little trick on how I did the palm trees here. A real easy way to do it. So you have this neat um, stamp that's in the stamp set that has these three palms here. And it does have a die as well that cuts those out, which is nice. So what we're gonna do is, I found it the easiest way when we did this in class, was to just, I went ahead and I just inked up the top of those palm fronds. And I said, you know what? This, this marker is darker than this. I'm just gonna put my soft suede right across there. Actually, you know what I think I did? I think I used um, the, I'm gonna use early espresso. And I just took the early espresso and I went down over that. You also could have used the marker for the tops, but it was easier to use my stamp. And so then I'm going to just pop those palm trees right on there. Don't those look cute? Okay, so we're gonna put that on the inside of one. And once again, what I can do is take, I actually may just, take off a little of this here, ink here, just wipe it off, because um, both Mossy Meadow and Early Espresso are dark, but this will work. So I just inked up the top, and then I took my Early Espresso brush tip side, and I didn't even wipe that off, because whenever I go to wipe it off, I sometimes mess up the initial so you just go right across there, right down there, right down there, and we can just stamp that right 
there and you've got your two colors on your stamp. Um, I'm not super great at always coloring these in, but this really worked well with this distinctive. It gave me that color down there and I easily could have used the brush tip to do these two, but when I used the ink pad, I was assured I didn't have any edges. So that was a trick too. Okay, so let's get this card put together here. All right, we have a card base that is soft suede and it is a half sheet of our cardstock. And this one was eight and a half by four, no, I'm sorry, duh, 11 inches by four and a quarter and I scored it at five and a half. So 11 by four and a quarter scored at five and a half. And then I'm gonna be putting the edge here right there. So what I'm gonna do is bring out my glue and I'm gonna get a little bit of, um, I'm gonna use my the middle of my dimensionals as a little glue pad here. And I got some glue here. Bring out, I knew I was gonna use this whole thing up so that's why I'm doing that because I could have just put it right onto my craft, silicone craft mat. I love that for the, fact of putting you could also use adhesive sheets on here too but it is pretty um, delicate um, which was very handy to use my my take your pick tool with its brush it was awesome to get those things out of there it was like lickety split okay I almost could have did it on camera okay so what we're gonna do is just pop this onto the edge and it is a perfect size to fit on the card. Thank you, Stamping Up, for making it exactly the edge. Now, just think, you have, I'm putting it on a portrait card, but think how pretty that would look on a landscape, on the top of a card or the bottom of a card. So there we go. Let's go ahead and do it on the other card as well. And we're going to, where did I put that one? Oh, here it is. We're gonna repeat the same thing we did. We're going to put some glue on the back of this really cool die. I love this die. This die is fantastic and I see a little edge that didn't come out. So you guys yell when I go to put this on if I forget to put it. Remember the guys that always would talk to sports on television, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure when you watch crafting video, videos, you're yelling at the, the video too. Oh, wait, wait, you didn't do that. Oh, wait, that's the wrong measurement. Why? <laughs> so we see here, there's a piece. And down here, there was a little, little clinger there. Get that one off there without getting glue all over my fingers. Okay, got it out. So this die, um, I think could be used on so for so many different applications on a card, but it did really go well with that, you know, fun rattan straw stuff. You just, you know, tropical. So there, we've got our two cards done. And then we're gonna pop this over here. Let's go ahead and put these on the inside and then they'll be done. Oh, I have a little edge there. You know what? I'm going to bring out my little trimmer. Hey, this is literally a video of how to fix all your little mistakes. So I'm just bringing out my little trimmer and I can shave off just the teensiest, teensiest, teensiest of layers there and I just fixed it. And nobody now knows, except for everybody that watched this video, that I had a mistake, okay. So put a little glue on. Glue goes a long way. Does not want to come off when you don't want it to. So we'll just put a few little pieces, little strips of glue here. And um, I always suggest not putting big blobs. That's a little blobby, but not the whole way across your card um, in the middle because it does show up I cannot warn you enough that I do a lot of swapping and it does show up. So there we go. And isn't it nice to have that nice rich border here because this um, size here too is three and five eighths 
by four and seven eighths. So it's just a little bit smaller than the next layer down. Okay, let's throw this one in. It just gave a little bit more of a border. Um, it's not your traditional one eighth inch down. So we're gonna put that in the middle here. And I'm so happy that I did not put those laying, those, <laughs> nobody in my class liked those either. <laughs> I said, these look bad, don't do that. Okay, so we're gonna put this one on here. And the other reason I made that um, measurement not three and a half is I just wanted more of a, now of course we can put glue the whole way across here if the glue wants to participate in the process here. Come on, cooperate. I can't believe I haven't had a major coughing attack yet. Stampin' Jesus. Stampin' sickness covering me. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Okay, so we're just going to put that, give it the same amount of border around the top, right, left. Okay, and then we're going to use this one, the same one, wonder if I can get a little more glue. How many of you have more <laughs> than one glue open at one time? I have like four of them open. I remember one of my friends said one time, I beat you, I have 12 open. Why do we feel like we can never, <laughs> we have to use that little teeny tiniest bit left. And of course it happens right during a video that I'm running out. Okay, one, third time's a charm, right? Yay, it is. I don't see, there's a reason why that little adage comes about. Okay, so now look how that amount of so saffron blended onto that paper really jumps out against the soft suede there. So two totally different looks there. And so the next thing I did is like I said, I just made this cute little tag and the little tuft of grass. So let's get those little guys out there. Come on, little tag. Okie dokie. Now you'll notice on the tag, I put a little retired twine. It was the mossy meadow twine. Uh, you can put anything on there, but I found a neat way to make that twine. I didn't have to tie a bow. So I put a glue dot on the edge, against, right between the hole and the edge. And I put the glue dot right in the middle, okay? And then do this one. And I just put it right in the middle on the front. So now I have a glue dot there. Now all I had to do, and you could do this with your ribbon, is I had to just go and just adhere it on the one side because once it sits down on the card, and then just kind of break it apart here. And you can use any, now see it's, once you sit it down, it only needed to be adhered on that one side. Okay, there, get a little, oh, I wish this stuff was still around. It is really, it, I don't think it's on the clearance rack now, but it's, it's nice to just get it all scruffily. Okay, so we're gonna put some of our glue dots, I mean our dimensionals, underneath our tag. And if, um, I know in class, a few girls were like, oh, I made my tag wrong, I made my tag wrong. And I'm like, how? And they're like, oh, the hole's on the other side. I said, well, it doesn't matter because you would just have it going, you know, the opposite way. So here we go, wishing you, oh, maybe I should put this, ah. I noticed it was going off, it doesn't matter. It come off there a little bit, okay. Wait, but it does because there's no, it, there we go, okay. And one more here, put some dimensionals here. And I do love it how no matter what, you can make the same exact card and they look different. <laughs> so here we go with this one. And I'm just gonna put it right across. You could actually even put this one here too. I, I like it kind of down in the middle of the card here. Okay, and then we're just going to, to glue on we're not gonna use those other glue. I think I might tear them apart and see if I can get the last bit of glue out of them, but I'm just using the die 
that had the, that makes the tuft of grass. But do you notice in this stamp set, I love that it has the grass here too. So if you would have stamped this in the crumb cake and then just did the grass on Mossy Meadow, that would have, that would have been, ooh, actually, actually, we could do that. So how about we put grass on this one? Let's move this one aside and right live. Cindy Lee B Designs, we are going to change up the style of this card. Yes, we will. Okay, so we've got the grass. All we need is a block and I have a block. We're gonna put that grass there. And now we are going to get our mossy meadow. And we're going to ink up this way. You get an idea to see what the grass looks like. A couple different little ideas here. So, little grass. And a little grass up here. There we go, a whole different look. Look at that, you got two ideas in this video to use this Paradise Palms bundle. And remember, this Paradise Palms bundle will be, okay, so here was the card I made. Okay, so this one, I die cut, I stamped these and die cut, popped one up, had a neat effect, and then I sponged around this little mask I made with the masking paper that Stamping Up is now carrying. Now on this card, I did add some coconuts. There you go. And on this one, and I also did not pop up my fronds there either. Okay. Oh, I did notice I have a little yellow there. Darn. Okay. This one is a totally different look too. I didn't use that extra image there, um, die cut there. I just used the grass, but I like that the way the grass, I think I would have liked a little bit of grass over here too. I might play around with that. And then this one, I just took all my masks and stuck them over my stamped images, then sponged with my blending brush again. So there's a lot of fun things you can do with this one. So three different cards, essentially the same card, but I just did them up a little bit different by using different dies because there's a lot to do with the stamp set. So I hope you enjoyed this time that we shared together. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call or a text at 724-323-2296. You can email me at cindyleeb at gmail.com. You can comment on my blog or the YouTube video. Um, if you don't get me on one of those social medias, always know you can jump over to another one because I try to keep track of all them. But if you don't, you know, get an answer on the blog, please don't hesitate to text. If you don't get a text, put it on my email and we'll cover it somehow. Thanks for buzzing by friends.